Beer, beer, beer. Let's make it big. That's the big things that make life worthwhile. What about the big trouble? Did I stutter, kid? Right. So tell me, do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. This place smells like soap and dog piss. I am within my constitutional rights to call it a hellhole. I'm doing my best here! Thank you very much! Who's that? Nobody important. Hey! I heard that! Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm just insulting the building, not you. You can think of this small... You can think of it as a small hellhole rather than a hellish hellhole, if you like. Charming. So, celebrities. Not really. At least not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, if you have a serious VIP as a client, a client and I don't see you losing your shit. You're not even making me feel special, honey. And second, because I'm always up for gossip before famous people. Especially the red carpet kind of famous. Those folks pretend to love, uh, pretend to love, but actually want, uh, those folks people pretend to love, but actually want to see fall from grace. I had to reread that. Sometimes it, sometimes like I have to like reread things to like actually read it correctly. I can't just stop in the middle of a sentence. It's so weird. Pretend to love, fall from grace? Why do you think that gossip about famous people always sells? People pretend that, that they love celebs, but when they what they really want to see is their idols turn down, torn down to their level. They want to see them suffer, get their com uh, comeuppance for daring to be so much more successful than them. Nah, I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys but no one wants to admit enjoying. You thought wrong, but even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They want to escape their lives by living someone else's. Sadly, I fail to see the appeal in the whole thing. What I do care if this guy is, I saw in a random movie wearing socks and sandals, if, or if they're dating God knows who. Granted, socks and sandals is practically a public indecency, but still. Never wear socks and sandals, is by it. Oh, please, as a bartender, I bet you have a strong, um, voyeuristic streak. Your kind loves to hear that stuff. Just like hairdressers, it sounds hypocritical coming from you. Even if that's the case, I don't, uh, sensationalize what people do. I don't make it more that that person you know from TV, uh, from TV acts like FEMA. Sen uh, sensationalize keyword here. Sorry, some I am. <laughs> My dyslexia is hitting me hard tonight. Just the other day, I saw a committee judge, uh, judge bitching over some girl who was wearing them to the store. No matter what they say, those people don't exist solely to entertain the public. But this problem exists because they're the ones constantly cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. Going to exotic locales, dressing in different ways, indulging in every motion that they can think of. All that just leaves the public craving for those little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. Can't say that that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see that they're human. Hey, that dude plays the nice guy and is indeed a really nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help. Sensationalizing everything. It feels like they're instigating a behavior that shouldn't be acknowledged in the first place. You like your big words, Aunt Brett. Well, to play that game of... Huh. Hey, you're a bartender, right? No, I'm a lab rat held in on World Conquest. Sarcasm wastes my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. Anyway, I just realized that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Talk about changing topics. Maybe? Why? Wouldn't you like to call them talking about those? I bet they would sell quite well. It would be like priests who publish confessionary stories get excommunicated and lynched. People usually tell me all that kind of, uh, all this stuff because they, because they know I'm just a simple bartender. A person, stranger of sorts. 
We could have you ghost riding. Half of our staff do that. You don't really think Lena or Lana Smithy is one person, do you? Figures. Anyway, eventually the people from the stories would know that it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt us as a business, but it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. Oh, and it would hurt the clients too, I guess. Well, if you ever retire, the author's waiting for you. Yeah, like you'll remember me two weeks from now. Sure. Do you want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Did I say something wrong? Not at all. I just really like the sound of that. Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Mr. Devon. Mr. Mr. D. Devon. Mr. Donovan. Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson or Boss. Boss is just a title. You're too, it's too personal and cold. It is? Mr. Dawson was my father and grandfather. It's too general. But Mr. Donovan! Now that's more like it. Uh, hold on. Okay, there we go. They're referring to me, the man in front of them. Not my family, not my position as boss. To me. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh, gods, no. I want them to fear me. Not because I'm their boss or their names appearing on their paychecks, but rather because I strike mortal dread into them. Starting tomorrow, I'm gonna make everyone call me that. Oh, yeah. You were asking about something. What was it? Drink. Oh, uh, one. Do you? Uh, oh, yes. But I need to cut myself off. I just remembered I might have... I have a night shift later. Give me something bitter. And big. But not alcohol. I need to wake myself up. I can do that. Something bitter, big, and with no alcohol. Like flavor. Bitter. Optional common train. Okay. Oh, but it's girly. I don't think he'd like girly. Gut punch. Oh, here we go. There you go. Paint me blue and call me Sue. You can actually do it. This will help me stay up late tonight. Say, kid, does this bar have any investors? He didn't call it a hellhole. There was some bloke named Sven that wanted to give us money if we stamped his face all over the place. But aside from that, no. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there are no local investors. Why? Just wanted to let you know how lucky bastard you are. Investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. <laughs> oh my god! Like, excuse me? Like, I don't know. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> Let's go to the 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 ninth the sixty dollar cup of ramen right here. There we go. Perfect. These bastards think they're so important because they put their money in a company. Well, that's... I mean, you can give me money so I can make more. Let me do my thing and I'll give you your money. But no, they just have to stick their nose and start changing the silliest of stuff. What good is it to be the boss if you still have to work for someone else? You still have a lot... You still have to answer to unions, the government, and any kind of organizations, don't you? Yeah, but that's paperwork. I make somebody else do it and call it a day. Those losers, these losers ask for meetings. They start talking about stuff they don't like, stuff they find offensive. And there's always that one guy or gal that says, Hey, why don't you do what the other newspaper does? Recently, they told me they needed more clicks. More clicks! I make sure to keep stuff spicy while still keeping production quality up. And it's never enough for them. Well, you know what? If they want more clicks, I'll give them more clicks. I'll show them what happens when they do... When I do what I want and don't reject ideas. They'll know the hell Donovan D. Dawson is. Should I be worried? At least he paid before stomping the storming off. I wonder what happened with Sven, though. He never heard from him again. Jill! 
Yeah. What the hell happened in that bathroom? That kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. Crafty does, I tell you. They, you'd think the short legs would make, would hinder them. That ceiling, it stinks, it sinks. The toilets, the vents. You'll wake up, a, you'll wake up Briar Rose over there. I won't forget this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fun. Welcome to Valhalla, what can I do? Good gut punch, fans. Alright. Gut punch, gut punch, gut punch. You do it then. Hmm. This crack house is a bar. Hellhole crack house? It smells like dog hair and soap. How the hell do you expect to find someone to feel comfortable in here? I'm not surprised you decided to come to our little crack house at all, mister. What the hell do you care? The payment registry says. I'm sorry for the question then, Mr. Ingram da, 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 uh, McDougal. Sorry about the smell. We're working on fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend. But it's Tuesday. Please, let me know what I can do to make your experience more ple uh, pleasant regardless. If I pay you, will you come with me to a motel for a couple hours? Oh my god! No. Then I have no use for you, Bazan, giving me drinks. Such pleasant clientele tonight. May I ask what you decided to come to our bar then? Somebody recommended this place, and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here and all. I'm starting to doubt her tastes. A regular? Can I ask who? No. I'll concede one thing. Whoever picks the music at least has decent tastes. Hey, hey, Jill! Where did you put the dish soap? It feels run out. Oh, below the sink where it's always been. <laughs> right. Oh, customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. So, any other feedback you want to provide to the establishment so we can enhance your, cu our, uh, your customer experience? No. Nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. I can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Dana Zayn. The Red Comet. She's woman who's fended off mall ri uh, rioters all by herself, knocking them out cold one by one. That's an achievement and a title I've never heard before. I know Boss did quite a few things before opening this bar, but that sounds... Would you happen to know how she got her a mechanical arm? I heard a couple of stories, but they sound too fantastic to be true. You've heard had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out armed rioters with her bare hands. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Once you see something like that, it's hard to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax, though. I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One involved class 5 weaponry. The other one, uh... The other one, a pickup artist, and the latest had an alpaca. An alpaca? Not really an alpaca, but... There's this woman who owns a textile company. She got really drunk and started screaming that she was an alpaca. She started spitting on everything outdoors. My boss had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's leave it at that. Can I get you anything else? Give me a pile driver, please. Please? That's a word I haven't heard today. Coming right up. Pile driver, pile driver, pile driver, pile driver. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay. Here you go. Here. Hmm. That's fine, I guess. Hey, lady. Have you ever faked your old kids? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, you know, this is something I want to read at 1 a.m. Hey. I've ever faked an orgasm. <laughs> what the hell is this game? Uh, I've only seen like a let's play of it like once, and that was a over a year ago. Right now, I have I've not 
I'm like, I'm playing this completely blind. I just bought this game. I'm sorry, I think I heard wrong. I asked if you were a fake dead orchid. <laughs> Why? That's a question I'm not gonna answer. I'll take that as a yes. I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere people lie once in a while. Lies can buy you time. Lies can make you happy. Reality can come crashing through the door eventually. But for that moment, that lie can give you can give meaning to you. I say lies are like your porn stash. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. Does that mean you really faked orgasms because you look like you've had a lot of experience? Experience. Oh! Wow! Still, that's quite a random thought you just suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really. I'll just think about people making polite comments about this crack house. And of course, where? Hey, I'm gonna need another drink here. Alright, already? Don't you think you've been drinking quite quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. Alright. Fringe Weaver, Fringe Weaver, okay. Oh god. You know what? Make it big. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen! Aged and mixed. Fringe Weaver, this'll get you drunk. Try not to drink it too fast. That's up to me. Hey lady, have you ever felt empty? Empty how? Like hungry? No, I mean empty like there's a part of you missing. Can't say I particularly have. I just feel like there's a part of myself that lacks something. An urge to get some get or do something that you just can't satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? It might make solve your pro it might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising. Sounds like a lot cheaper than the alternative. Which is? Bitches and alcohol. I tried sex tourism once, it was just a flake. It was like a bloody Russian roulette of STDs, so I left it with her. And once I burned my, my Christmas bonus hiring three women for an orgy, porn is more amusing and way cheaper. I also hired a girl to act like my daughter for a day for three years in a row. Nothing seems to do it. Um, have you tried rescuing the puppy? You can't fuck puppies. At least you shouldn't. I'm drawing a blank then. Can't think of anything that might help. I wasn't expecting you to help me in order to leave me. Eh? I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. The snow is coming. Please come back again. Don't kill me. Good. Whew. Boss, I'm going to take my break. Alright. Oh, is this like a midday screen? Oh, okay. Alright, that makes sense. Alright, but it is uh, going past one. And I'm losing my voice. And um, we're going to stop here for tonight. So thanks for joining me on this crazy little impromptu stream. I know that there wasn't really much going on, but I just wanted something calming just to kind of relax me while I then head to bed. So I'll see you guys next time. Until then, bye.